again, everybody, to yet another episode of Smarticus. Great to have you all back. And as you can see here, I've managed to twist the arms of uh, uh, three other people who've all decided unwittingly to play tonight. We have <laughs> the greatest Australian hero there, Keenan. <laughs> we have uh, the, the wonderful fan player, Nikki. And we have the trivia host who may work for another company of which we will not mention, but is still with us, Daniel. Welcome there. Oh! It's great to have you all here. And for those of you who haven't uh, played before, we'll just quickly go over the rules of what we're doing here today. So each single player asks a question. Uh, if if uh, anybody else gets that question right, they score a point. And also, you give a point to the person who asks the question unless everybody gets it right, in which case the person who asks gets no points because they're obviously were not being smart because enough the question was way too easy also this week we've got a special returning person who's asked us another fan question so that's something to look forward to or is it and <laughs> but before we do that let's get that music rolling and we'll get started yeah <laughs> I was a little worried that you might have got uh, frozen your uh, back in, in place there, Kenyon, for a little bit there. Uh, okay, so oh, for those... No, I was frozen with excitement, frozen with the excitement. Oh. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. <laughs> it's my yeah. favourite song. It's my ringtone. It's your ringtone? <laughs> well, great. Great, great. Well, um, speaking of ringtones, no, my question has nothing to do with ringtones. My name's Daz. I'm here in Canberra. <laughs> For some reason, the the uh, the winter has stopped again here, and we've had a nice warm day. We expect uh, everything to be back to normal by Tuesday. So <laughs> I don't know. They just it keeps going from winter to summer to winter to summer here. All I want, you know, it's a bit like a it's a bit like the person who was waiting at the the traffic light, and the light went red, and then yellow, and then green, and then red, and the person behind them went up to them and said, "Hey, haven't you found a colour you like yet?" So. That's my horrible joke. Anyway, <laughs> speaking of jokes, my question is on 70s American sitcoms. Which 70s American sitcom coined the phrase up your nose with a rubber hose? Which American sitcom coined the phrase up your nose with a rubber hose? Are we ready there, Timekeeper Keener? Oh. Ooh, okay. So we'll just look at you for a bit. Alright, three seconds, two seconds, one second, time is up. What's up? Time is up. Was it William Cat who played the part of the greatest American hero? Is, is that right? Was William. that his name? William Cat. Yeah. William Cat, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Something like that. Anyway. Believe it or not. <laughs> we'll save that for another day, shall we? Um, how about you tell me your answer, though? Oh, I'm thinking, I was like, 70s. I, mean, I, was, I was around in the 70s, or yeah. well, the late half of it, anyway. I was thinking maybe I was. Uh, I'm actually now starting to think it was an Australian. Did you say American sitcom? Or I did say sitcom? American sitcom, so it can't be. Oh, good. Okay, because I, I put one down, so I'm pretty stupid if I put an Australian one down. Yeah. Wouldn't I? Yeah. <laughs> yes. but, <laughs> but I went the Jeffersons. Cause that's the only thing I can really think of at the time. Right, the Jeffersons. Cool. Mm. Uh, all yeah, right. So, uh, Daniel, wrong. what what were you Is thinking? Well. That was around before me, um, but I was actually thinking it was Dad's Army. Dad's Army, right? The British sitcom. Yeah, the British sitcom. Uh, uh, <laughs> done in America, obviously, for, for political reasons. Dad's Army. All right. And finally, Nikki. I'll be honest, I started with I Don't Know. Right. And then I put... Even though it's not, a, it's not, it wasn't made in the seventies. I thought, oh, maybe the seventies show. <laughs> well, I've done it yet again, people. I've asked a question that nobody knows the answer to. <laughs> it was welcome back, Cotter. 
<gasps> yes. Oh. Welcome back, Connor, which uh, starred the very, very young John Travolta as Vinnie Barbarillo. Uh, and they coined the phrase, up your nose with a rubber hose. Because that was about the most offensive thing that you could say on TV in the 70s. So, uh, nonetheless, <laughs> it, it proved to be a... I've actually met the guy, I mean, we talked about that at length. Yeah, I forgot. Yeah, I met John Travolta last year, so, uh, yeah. And we yeah, talked about uh, that at length. You met John Travolta. Yes, yes. Yeah. How's he staying alive? Ah ha ha ha. Oh, that was that was a good that was a good comeback. I like that. that you know you know how he got into his tight pants? How's With that? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay. oh please, Daniel, save us. Give us a new question. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> in which decade did Zimbabwe's national team play its debut test cricket match? In which country? In which decade did Zimbabwe's oh. national oh, team? Oh, that makes it easy. Right. Okay. Time starts now. Feel free to say who you are in the meantime. That's, that's cool. Yeah, I'm uh, Daniel. I'm uh, from... Club Services Ipswich, that's where I host trivia, not unfortunately for time out, but maybe later on down the track, you never know. <laughs> uh, I host every Thursday night at Club Services, and we've been back for about 11 weeks now, um, uh, ever since we've been out, uh, the restrictions were eased, and it's growing by the week. Okay. Let's go first with Nikki. For some reason, when you said decade, I had an aqua song come into my head. So I'm going to say back in the 80s. <laughs> back in the 80s. All right. Daz? I was a bit more uh, a bit more pessimistic because I didn't actually know that Zimbabwe even played cricket, so there you go. But uh, <laughs> well, uh, I went with the ooze. With the noughties. Okay. <laughs> Chase Evans? Oh, I think it was the 1970s. Well, looks like I stumped you all. It was actually <laughs> oh. the 1990s. Oh, just in time for the oh, Of course. The 12th man song, Marvellous, it might be England, South Africa, Zimbabwe, or New Zealand. <laughs> yes. Marvelous. And it was around, around the time of Barbie Girl. Hey! Right. I think the reason why I was thinking Aqua. <laughs> well, if you had have said that right from the start, we all would have got that. Yes. I guess it's going to take a lot to drag us away from them. So, <laughs> I actually now have. Oh, I better turn to me. I, I actually now have a question for us all from one of our fans, obviously keen to uh, continue his uh, reign of, of terror over us with his questions. Uh, so we've got another uh, question from Terry. We'll all have a listen to it right now. G'day guys, I'm back again. Uh, this time I've got a two part question for you. At the original Live Aid concert in 1985, who was the first rock band to perform on stage? And for a bonus point, what was the first song, rather appropriately, that they played? Time starts now. Time is up, ladies and gentlemen. All right, all right. Terry's question. Wow, two parter. Well, while I'm asking his behalf, and actually started off myself, I, I honestly don't know the answer to this, and I think you'll, I'll prove that by the fact that I put down. Since it was Bob Geldof that organised it, or is it Bob Geldy? I'm still not sure. Um, 
So. Throw back episode four. Yes. Um, so therefore, I put down Boomtown Rats. I don't like Monday sinking. Well, you know, he he kicked the ball rolling. He might want to take some of the credit himself. But let's see what other people have to say. What about you, Nikki? I was along the same thing. I was actually thinking Boomtown Rats as well. <laughs> but I have no idea on the song. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, Keenan? Oh, well, it was back in the 80s. So I'm thinking of, um, for the first part, Duran Duran. Right. Uh, I can guess it. I can guess it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Hungry like the wolf They did say rock band though So uh... <laughs> oh. <laughs> Finally Daniel What do you reckon it is Yeah I had no idea about this one And I didn't even uh, think about a rock band I actually went to Billy Joel But I know it's wrong Billy Joel Let's now go back to Pat And see what his answer is And the answers are Status quo And the song was Rockin' all over the world Okay, who's up? Is it Keenan? Are you up here? I think let's yeah, go. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, let's, yeah, let's, let's bring it back to a little trivia, shall we? <laughs> All right. Uh, what is the Latin word? Oh, let's speak Latin. What is the Latin word? Oh, sorry. Um, my name is uh, Keenan, or AKA, or also known as. Chase Evans. Uh, depends on which uh, venue you're at to see who I'm at. Who I am. Uh, so, and, uh, uh, yeah, and I'm there. You have to know. You have to know Nikki there as well, I thought. Is that, is that the case? How, how do you two know each other? <laughs> well, I know yes, well, we, <laughs> uh, we, we, we dated in preschool. Oh, um, we were together for a little while in preschool. Uh, it was, it, yeah, we were, we were together for a little while and it was a bit of a bad breakup because, you know, we got a you know, we had to separate, like, who got the sand pit at lunchtime and, you know, who got the great toys. Uh, it was a bit of a rough time <laughs> in my life, but, um, but we got through it. We're friends now, but uh, we caught up again at Grand Central Station where we, uh, where I was a trivia host uh, for time out doing Infusion there. So, and of course, uh, Nikki plays for Grand Central, or Nixta, as we know her on the chat lines <laughs> and stuff like that. So, uh, yeah, so that's how we know, that's how I know Nikki, so yeah. Right. Well, I got the sand pit. <laughs> <You're mine. laughs> That's right. To my Latin question, uh, speaking Latin, uh, what Latin word means things to be done? Things to be done, and your time starts. Ten seconds. And your time is up. Your time is up. Your time is up. Your time is up. All right. So. All right. Oh, I don't need my iPad because I'm not putting down the question this time. <laughs> All right. Let's uh, let's start with you, Nikki. What do you think? Latin word for things to be done. Chase. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Dan. I have no idea. I was very bad at Latin at school, so I just went with the first thing that came to my head. My wife often says to me, hurry up. <laughs> hurry up. Oh, okay. Um, looks like I'm getting no points again on this one. <laughs> that certainly wasn't uh, on my list of things to do. Uh, Dad is... <laughs> Look, oh, have a little faith. <laughs> in this day and age, you know, we have to be very inclusive. So I thought it would be binary agenda. Ooh. So getting the dog out of the room, is that on your agenda, Dan, of things to be done as you get the points? <laughs> oh, and so do I. Yeah. Well done. Well done to you, man. <laughs> agenda is Latin for things to be done. Yeah. Brilliant. Okay, so that means we have one final question, and that is from your ex, Nikki. <laughs> oh, let's see. I have. I'm gonna. Oh, well, I hope it's easy-ish. Do you know how many? Do you guys know how many out of the seven dwarves? Uh, okay, and do you, do you know who you are, by the way? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
I think you're bashful. Yeah. Anyway, sorry. <laughs> okay, I'll go. <laughs> I haven't even been drinking. Um, anyway, I'm Nikki, as said, I play <laughs> trivia. That's how I reconnected with Keen then. And yeah, um, I'll be honest, as you can see, pretty bad at it, but hey, all a part of fun and that's why we like time out it's fun um so my question is how many of snow white's dwarves and names end in y Ooh. a y question yes uh, 15 seconds on the clock now you have three seconds left. One second left, and time is up. Right. I'm going to start with Dan. Do you know the answer? I think <laughs> it's just the one dopey. <laughs> okay. Yeah. What about you? You must, have, you must have been sleepy when you went through that one. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be grumpy, gosh. Oh. <laughs> and Des, how many do you have? I I think it's actually there's five. And uh, the two that aren't are Doc and Bashful. Oh. Okay, Chase. Oh, I had four. I didn't think of the other one. I had sleepy, sneezy, sleazy, bashfully. <laughs> I don't remember sleazy dwarf. <laughs> Hello, there's no white. <laughs> sneezy, like a chew. Uh, <laughs> yeah, um, but yeah, I think Daz is probably right. He's most definitely right. He definitely oh. <laughs> I want to thank everyone again for joining us here. So we had Keenan, a.k.a. Chase, a.k.a. Um, the Greatest American Hero. We had Nikki, a.k.a. The, a. the X, and Daniel, <laughs> a.k.a. The, uh, the person who works for another company of which we will now uh, shall not mention. But uh, hopefully you've enjoyed this episode. If you have, why don't you tell your friends about it? Give us a like uh, and, and make sure that uh, you follow us also at all the different venues that we're at. We're not at the venue that you are at at the moment, let us know. We'll see if uh, they'll have us along. Uh, also, don't forget to uh, watch the online quiz on Wednesday. It happens every Wednesday at 7.30 p.m. Australian Eastern uh, Daylight Savings Time at 6.30 in Queensland. And I think it comes down to 4.30 here in Australia. Really, I think that's what I worked it out as. If not, you can all uh, uh, mention that down in the comments here. Anyway, I've been Daz, and you've been watching yet another wonderful episode of Smart Quiz. <laughs>